head out to go check out the pond. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take this tow, tow rope right here and hook it to the teeth on the back of the bucket and hook it to whatever we gotta hook it to and yank her on out. So let's hop on and head over there. On the bad side of the pond, wood, this is kind of like nothing circulates here because there's this tree that chopped up and uh, I guess apparently couldn't, uh, didn't want to stay at the bottom of the pond. So I'm hoping that from memory, this is like five footish, hoping I can start to maybe even use a kayak too, but get out here and hook up, then come back and hook it to the tractor and pull it out. So we're going to start here with probably that one out there or this one and uh, start pulling in and see what we got. big one it's uh goes here all the way over to that so this is going to be a nice big one we're going to get out of here it's all the way over there and way over there too as well sweet satisfying
super cool man took out a huge part of that tree over there we still got some more so i think i'm gonna uh i think we may be able to grab that one and pull that one in and it seems to be floating that one we might be able to float too as well but i'll tell you what man this <laughs> bx23 although it took all it had to get that out of there just repositioned it's actually doing really well like super super well one apparently is connected to that one which is pulling in that one we may get oh this entire thing out here in one go all right let's see if we can't hook up to the tractor and see if we can't pull it that way which one turn pull all this stuff here and we'll probably have to come back and reposition Kubota met its match. <laughs> Obviously, it does not want to pull this, this out of here. So as it's pulling a wheelie, I'm smelling a little bit of burnt stuff. Not quite sure what it is, but um, I'm going to do what I should have did before. I'm just going to go grab the chainsaw and uh, start chopping this up in pieces. And then I'm sure we could reach out and grab that, pull that out. Other than that, man, look at that big open area now. It's going to be nice once we're done. Um, so, yeah, let's go grab a new battery for the camera. And we're going to go grab the chainsaw and start cutting this up and getting this out of here. Uh, for everybody that's asking what we use here for the property, for the main chainsaw, is the Steel 291. This is a beautiful saw. Uh, lightweight, medium. 
and it gets about just about everything we need here on the property except for stuff like this this big hickory here but we don't have plans on taking it down but for everything else we've never had any issues um but so this is the ginormous uh tree that I, this is the base of the tree that fell so we have to get this cut and we're going to cut it kind of far down so that part falls and then we're going to push it off into the back here and then we're going to reach out and grab that other stuff <laughs>
let me tell you, that the BX23S Kubota is really uh, earning its keep today. It's muddy, it's throwing around, uh, although this one took a little bit to get it. This is a, for reference, this is probably a 15 foot, uh, 20 inch tree waterlogged. And uh, it, that's pretty impressive. I mean, you've seen that the BX was having some issues, but getting all of this stuff out, we got a couple more pieces that I want to try to grab real fast, and then we'll back drag this, clean it up a little bit. But I think we're going to be able to reach out and grab this next piece, or at least grab it, walk in, grab it, and pull it in. And we got some, just a little bit more stuff we have to clean up, but this BX is uh, tearing it up. I think we just crossed over 100 hours on this, so I think I'm going to do a review. So if I've done the review already, then check the card up in the top corner. If not, hit the subscribe button because I'm going to do a review on this. And I'm telling you what, this BX has had a hard 100 hours. And if you're looking to get one, uh, you know, whatever I have to say about this is probably, uh, probably help you out with your purchase. So, all right, I'm going to hop on to this again and uh, start knocking out just a little bit of stuff that's left. that is all she wrote almost finished it's looking good got a little bit of duckweed but nothing too crazy i have been noticing some of the fish jumping now that it's evening haven't seen them cruising but they are jumping so that's cool um, but they're actually alive and the frogs are getting ready to come alive too anyways thanks for watching uh, if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up and uh, hit that subscribe button if you don't want to uh, miss it, another video. we got a lot going on, so until next time, I will see you then.